Hey there, cats and kitties. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and today I want to talk about Doctor Who, specifically the latest in, you know, the theories and speculations as to the mystery of Clara Oswin Oswald, as I've recently heard it. And um, this is rather a bold question, as the title suggests, is Clara the next Doctor? Um, there are some things that I think support this that we've seen in the series, and also things that may or may not support it sort of out of the series, like actual legitimate news bites. Um, first of all, in, in the series itself, we have Clara, this mystery character. We've seen her multiple times, uh, multiple versions of her, it seems. And one of the theories out there is, of course, that, which I've discussed in a previous video, could she be splintered in time akin to uh, Scaroth, the Jaggeroth from City of Death, the classic series Tom Baker episode. And I think this is a viable possibility. Um, I think a future event has yet to be seen on screen that probably happens to Clara and splinters her through time, you know, as suggested. Um, will we see that? I don't know. Uh, another possibility, though, is, you know, the Doctor's traveling to all these different times and running into all these different incarnations of her. Could this be a sort of watcher? figure, you know, a modern incarnation of the Watcher. The Watcher was basically going back to Logopolis, the final serial for Tom Baker as the fourth doctor, <clears throat> in which you had this mysterious white figure, faceless, you didn't know who or what it was, it was just in the background time and again, and it turned out that the Watcher was a future incarnation of the doctor, meant to be there to help him regenerate into the fifth doctor, Peter Davison, and that's how basically that serial ends. And so, is this a modern incarnation of that, where the Doctor is running into his future selves, if you will, or rather pieces of his future self? And, uh, you know, basically I heard over on my good friend Dr. Freedom's channel in a video of his recently, <clears throat> someone I forget who was asked at a con about whether or not Matt Smith would be leaving, whether, whether he would be regenerating soon, and the person simply told whoever was asking to watch the Christmas episode this year. Um, a very sort of enigmatic answer, suggestive answer, because what we know right now Matt Smith is in America, Matt Smith has not signed for Series 8 so far as we're being told, whereas Jenna Louise Coleman is confirmed for Series 8. Whenever that's going to come about, I have no idea. That's a whole other argument. But that's very intriguing. Um, and why this gives me pause, on the one hand, her portrayal as Clara, her being whip-smart, keeping toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Doctor, really excites me for the idea of her potentially being a new incarnation of the Doctor, the first female Doctor ever in the history of Doctor Who. It would be the game-changer, as he puts it, Stephen Moffat, uh, as he suggests. You know, basically... That would be a total game changer in the history of Doctor Who. I could see a lot of people being really unhappy with it. And I wouldn't largely be unhappy with it were it not for how the latest episode of Doctor Who ended. The two children who stumble onto Clara's time traveling. Suddenly I have flashes of the future of Doctor Who being much less Doctor Who and much more, um, you know, Mary Poppins. Essentially you have the nanny uh, roving time and space with her children companions, making this much more CBBC fair akin to Sarah Jane adventures than what we're seeing with the Doctor Who series. And I've heard people basically complaining and saying that the Doctor Who series has been sort of being made more kid-friendly than usual uh, along those lines. And so I think there are different aspects to this theory that lend it credibility. And I'd just basically love to hear from you guys in the comments below. What do you think of a female doctor? Would it put you off? Would it completely change the show for the better or the worse? Is it exciting? Is it a horrible idea? And uh, yeah, do you think there's any credibility to this theory? Basically let me know down below. And otherwise, that's pretty much all I have to say on it for now, so I'll catch you later. Peace.